Hoity Nerdkins, this is the one only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerd and live reaction video is going to be for Rokudo no and Itachi chapters 142 through 147. So last time I covered this manga, we um, were getting to the point where we're facing the chromosome. This is after we got in, in disguise and shit like that. And uh, of course, Rokudo's mark is affecting all the girls, of course. Anyway, um, let's get to chapter 142 first and see what happens next. And this one is, uh, chapter 142 is titled Yasha in Love. Hey, what does chromosome mean anyway? It's just a name. It doesn't mean anything. Maybe a type of bread. Let me look it up. Maybe it'll give us some clues about them. It's a bread, right? You're thinking croissant. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kaizano and Toko are sure are slow. Here, um, here it is, I think. Chromosome. What's it say? Carrying genes, condenses DNA, determines sex. Bad news. Toko-san, she got taken away by, um, she got taken by, uh, the chromosome. What do you mean? They only took Toko? Yes, I'm sorry. There was nothing we could do. But why? Why Toko? Uh, Rokudo. Yeah, it's that mark. Now that we got this, um, now that we got his girl, Okamori will have to take this seriously. Yeah. Okamori will have no choice but to put away his pride and reach uh, out to um, um, Amori for help. After that, we'll only have to wait until Rokudo uh, Tosuke appears and um, let uh, Yashia have her way with him. Oh my god, what? Damn, this must be pretty tough for Yagen-san. Huh? Why is that? Well, I mean, he used to be the boss of um, Harikura, um, all things considered. What? For real? Yet he doesn't hesitate at all, even when fighting his old school. That's a true man for you. That bitch must be scared shitless by now. Uh, oh my gosh. What's with the ultra deluxe treatment? Yashia, what's going on here? What do I do now? Um, I managed to give the guys a chance to escape, but now I'm kidnapped by the same people I'm supposed to protect um, Harikura from. Don't worry, I won't let anyone lay a hand on you. What is Yashia's not even doing here? Could she be the leader of the chrom chromosome all along? Thanks to my disguise, it doesn't look like she's um, found out who I really am just yet. Her men look just as confused as I am. I'm here now, so I, I need to do what I can. That is, to get as much information about the chromosome as possible. Sorry for bringing you here so suddenly. Can I call you Toko? Uh, sure. You can call me Yui if you want. If you say so. <laughs> what's going on with Hash uh, What's going on with Yashia-san? I thought she hated girls. Nah, um, Yashia only hates strong girls. Um, I have always loved strong men. For as long as I uh, remember, to bully strong and confident men has always been my reason to live. And yet for the first time in my life, my heart skipped a beat for a girl. I have been attracted to many strong men before, but never to a girl. She is also just a girl, so I have no desire to break her at all. Instead, I want to treasure her, protect her, do everything that is nice to her. Oh my god, that Rokudo's mark is just in full gear. Ah, I finally understand. The reason why I possess the strange love to strip men of their confidence. I have always thought it to be my unique character, but now I have realized it is because I love girls. Oh god, no! That's not it. I just have never found uh, the girl that would make me fall for her until now. The disguise somehow made the mark affect her in a different way from before. I'm safe for now, uh, thanks, thanks to it, but the moment she finds out who I am, I'm, uh, um, I am, um, uh, I'm dead. Uh, oh my god, let me read this. The moment she finds out who I really am, I'm dead. Toko, tell me, is that Okamori guy your boyfriend? What? No, no way. He's not my boyfriend. Really? I'm so glad. What? Because <laughs> if he was, I would have, ha I would have to beat him up to death. Oh yeah, you want to hang out with me later? Uh, let's get out of this man-infested place and go shopping. Get some tea. I would escape. I would escape. Oh, Yashia. Um, have you forgotten why we took her in the first place? Huh? Sorry. Oh, no, you're supposed to punish me. The bad news. We got news that um, says the one dating that girl wasn't Okamori Julia, but Sumaya Rhino. Uh, Sumaya Rhino? Oh, wait, that means our plan is a bust? What now? Is that so? This doesn't sound good. Toko, do you also like girls? Eh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I see. Uh, Sumaya Rhino. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Poor Rhino is in trouble now. So let's get to chapter 143. And, um, chapter 143 is titled A Boncho's Condition. Toko was taken by the chromosome? But why Toko? That doesn't, um, oh my god. What, what the fuck? Yeah, okay, I'm on the right chapter. I was like, wait a minute. Um, but why Toko? That doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I don't, but we're keeping the girl. If you want her back safely, bring the Boncho of Amori High to warehouse number three. The Boncho of Amori? Why? I can't understand what they want, so their target ain't just Harikura? See, uh, wait, I see it. We have no choice but to ask Amori for help. Yeah, no! Asking them for help is admitting they're fucking better than us. Oh my god, just fucking ask Amori for help, you idiot. There ain't no fucking way I'm bowing my head to those fucking Amori. 
Oh my freaking god. But it's our only choice right now. So the fuck what? Would you quit acting like a little bitch already? Thank you, Enuma. This is why I love fucking Enuma. Enuma is just like not taking any of this shit. How long are you gonna hold, keep holding the, um, onto that useless pride? Always Amori this, Amori that like a punk. Haru, stop. Look at yourself. You're a coward. I know that you yourself have broken one of Amori guy's fingers uh, with the bottle opener, so any bad blood between you and them has already been settled then. I can't. I can't just... I just can't forgive those fucking Amori. Let me go, assholes. Let go. Not so tough now, huh, Harikura? You fucking Amori punks. Uh, see this ball opener? I hear it breaks people's uh, fingers pretty good, too. No, don't! A few years ago, Hari Curry used to have the strongest Bancho there was. Um, uh, oh, shit, let's get out of here. He was the reason we could stand on equal footing with um, uh, with Amori. The Bancho of Hari Curry's golden days, Yagen Yuchiro. Oh, my God. Yes, we saw him already. Dude, he oh, my God. The hair. Jesus Christ, this hair. What are you still sitting there for, um, Akamori? Stand up straight like a man. Harikura has had many strong delinquents as, as its students, but Yagansan was the only one who was strong enough to put Harikura on par with Amori. Don't beg like that ever again, Akamori. You need to be tougher. Act more like a man, dude. Sorry, sir. Once, uh, After all, once I've graduated, the Bancho seat will be yours. Me? Are you sure, sir? Yeah. Dude, he looks like a fucking nerd. My God. M me, the Bancho. Eh? You're going to have a peace, a peace talk with Amori? Yeah. But why? This ain't like you, Yagansan. You guys know I'm a graduate soon, right? So I didn't. So I did some thinking, and I realized a real man would know when to step back and think of the greater good. Yes, yes, yes. Um, besides, I hear girls dig uh, nice guys nowadays. Uh, I guess. <laughs> don't, God, the thirst, man. Come to think of it, Yagen san is the only one of us that girls don't like. Oh, poor Yagen. Um, if you say so, Yagen san, we'll follow you wherever you go. I wonder if we can get along with the Mori. But that same night. Yagatsan! Yagatsan! Yagatsan, wake up! What happened to you? Uh, Amori! Amori! Yagatsan's wounds were so bad he couldn't even attend the graduation ceremony. The sight of him being taken away in an ambulance was the last time we saw him. Yagatsan was uh, gone without any notice or explanation. That is why I will never bow my head to Amori. They were the ones who reduced Yagatsan to that state. But I know this stupid rivalry, rivalry with Amori, it doesn't gain us anything. Instead, it just causes more and more trouble for Harikura. This was the same, um, it's all because of my stupid plan making everyone leave school together that got Toko kidnapped. I know that, um, the rest of Harikura see, um, see me as nothing but an annoying dipshit. I'm a useless piece of shit. I don't deserve to be the Bancho. Well, no fucking duh. Um, Okamori-san, if this is the only way we could save Toko, then I will bow my head to, you don't have to bow down to Amori or anyone. You're the Bancho of Harikura, Okamori, and I'm uh, fine one at that. You, more than anyone, have um, only Harikura's best interest at heart. So if you really are holding this grudge on, on Amori out of consideration for your friends, you would not give up, give it up so easily. You may have failed this time, but then you just need to do better next time. But I don't think I have enough strength to save Toko. Everyone else can give in to failure, but a Bancho does not. But Yosuke, they told us to bring Amori's Bancho. We can. How can we bring us uh, Sayuri if we don't um, to them if we don't ally with Amori? Don't worry, I have a plan. Right now, give me a disguise. Disguise? You're already in one, though. I want you to turn me into the Bancho of Amori. Hi, um, Asanada Sayuri. What? Dude, that is you. Oh, da damn, Asanada, that was some sneaky shit. I like that what you're doing. I love what uh, uh, Sanada's plan is very, very simple. It's basically, um, well, she's disguised as Yusuke right now, and she's going to be disguised as her, uh, you know, go back to looking like herself, so that way they don't know that they're really allying themselves with Amori. But anyway, let's get to chapter 144. Uh, Yusuke wants to disguise himself as Sanada? I don't think even Rhino's makeup skills can do that. Yeah. Kept you waiting. Ooh, and chapter 144 is titled The Dream Team. Wow, it's Asanada! Anuma! Yeah! It's me, Yosuke. Yosuke, for real? But what's Anuma doing here? It's Haro. Uh, what? Haro? Wait, these are just disguises? Holy shit! What do we do if we get busted now? I don't buy it. This ain't enough to fool the whole enemy. They still, uh, look a lot like Yosuke and, uh, Haro to me. For real? Damn, Rhino's makeup skills are whack. What the fuck? These guys are idiots. Um, but I doubt that, uh, they've, um, ever seen both of them up close before, or maybe. Thank God they're dumb! <laughs> yeah! Thank God! By the way, Osanata, you got held back in second year, right? Yeah? That story, um, um, Okamori told us. Is it true that Amori ambushed, uh, um, Harikura's little banjo when he came to talk with us? Uh, 
You've been the Bancho since back then, Osanata. What do you know about it? I'm not the Bancho of Amori. I am Yosuke, and Yosuke only cares about helping Harikura. Fine. Damn, fucking Osanata is really getting into this. Okamori, we're getting, uh, we're done getting ready. Okay, but you sure about this? If the chromosome's goal um, is Osanata, you uh, you could be put in danger. I'm ready for anything, bon uh, Bancho Okamori. Yosuke, all right, time to do this thing. Hold on a sec, uh, uh, Okamori. What, man, pick a better time, would you? Actually, when Token was taken, there were two people I thought were curious. They had a guy there who looked a lot uh, uh, like Yagansan. I saw him too. His appearance was a little different, but you mean that um, mustachio guy? I knew I'd seen him uh, before. You dumb shits. That could never be Yagansan. Dude, you are in denial, Okamori. That, that is Yagansan. Um... I could never be Yagansan. Think about it. He put himself on the line to protect Harikura uh, once. So why the hell would he turn on us now? Uh, because he's getting pussy whipped? Uh, Yagansan protected Harikura for us before. So now it's our turn to protect Harikura in his stead. You're right. I'm sorry. And what about the other person? Her? I wouldn't mistake her uh, for, um, with anyone. The boss of the chromosome is also the former number one uh, lieutenant of the Onishima. Uh, um, Yashia Yui. What? Yashia Yui? But why? Why is Yashia doing this? You gotta be... So now we'll have to fight that fucking monster too? Even if I lose an arm and a leg, I still wouldn't be able to take her down. Um, this can't be real. We have to fight someone that strong. Um, this can't be real. We have to fight someone that strong? One time with the Onishi uh, Onishima is enough already. Shit, man. Get a hold of yourselves. Stop acting like a bunch of scared little girls, you assholes. If you're men, then start acting like it. Toko is my girlfriend and I- and Um, Toko is my girlfriend and, um, and to save her, I'll beat anyone that gets in my way. That's the real Samaya Rhino. She's so manly. Oh my gosh. Come on, scroll. Damn it. Um, that's right. Uh, time for Har Harikura to take the fight to, uh, fight to them. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we got the Amori and, uh, Harikura's dream team. Or, sorry, shit. Damn, if you told me this would happen a few days earlier, I would laugh at you. But now, we got the Amori and, um, Harikura's dream team. All right, get your spirit on, y'all. We're, wait a minute. Um, oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Is it my fault? Am I the wrong, um, I, am I the one with the wrong timing? Kaizano isn't back yet. Come to think of it. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, there's Rana. I told you everything I know. Uh, Rokuto is in disguise right now. If his identity is found out, he will be put in danger. Stop following me. Turn me into a man. Oh, shit. Rana-san is serious. Okay, so we're at chapter 145, which is titled, What is a Man? Some craft beer. I, I can't drink. This is supposed to be a kidnapping? Can't help it, man. It's uh, Yashia-san's orders. Uh, for now, let's just keep an eye on her. Yeah, with nothing but chromosome members surrounding me at the moment, there's only one thing for me to do. Yashia-san has stepped out for the moment, so this is a good ch um, uh, chance to ask them about their gang. Um, excuse me, excuse me? What? Um, I'm just wondering what your plan, uh, what is your plan exactly? Why are you attacking um, Harikura? I'm gonna tell you shit, bitch. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to be rude to her. Yashia-san will kick your ass. Sheesh, don't get carried away, stupid bitch. Uh, I'm sorry. You're still the fucking hostage here, so we got no reason to tell you shit, got it? Um, that girl clearly ain't got nothing to do with Okamori. She might not even belong to, um, Harikura. Uh, what do we do, do with her now, Yashia? Hmm? What was that? I've been sa- oh, uh, like I've been saying, your plan was to beat Asanada and, um, Okamori in order to make this Rokuto guy the Bancho of both their schools, right? Wait, what? That was the plan? Oh my god, don't tell me. You don't even care about Roku Rokuto to so, um... Sasuke no more? Either way, a change of plan um, now is sure to cause trouble. That and you keep getting in more people into the chromosome. That's the point. We need to. Uh, we need people to attack um, Harikura. But you already got you. You already got me for that. Oh, I totally understand why Yagen's doing that. He's all pissed off that Okamori ain't doing shit. Duh. Um, I don't like it. There's no point in getting more. Um, and getting more people. Like I said, we need them to attack Harikura. The sooner Harikura is gone, the better. Toka only needs me. As long as she does not have anywhere else to return to, she will have no choice but to be by my side. Okay. Um, eh, so your boss wasn't Yashia-san? No way. The boss of the chromosome, um, is, uh, Yagen-san. Yagen-san's just kind of doing whatever Yashia-san says, so we just follow suit. So, yeah, he's being bossed around by thirst. So the boss of the chromosome was him. Uh, Yagen Yuchiro, what kind of, just what kind of guy is he? Uh, them over there are different, though. Them guys have been with Yashia's gang ever since uh, her time with the Onishima. 
That dude, uh, Shijo uh, Katsuya is one of her entourage. Uh, when it comes to to a fight, he could fight on equal footing with um, Akai Koe of the Onishima. Some say he's got a score to settle with Rokuto Tosuke, the guy who wrecked the Onishima alliance. And those guys over there, led by uh, Karahide Kazu, are pretty badass themselves. Apparently, jo they joined us so they could get um, their uh, back on get their back on the uh, Ryugu. Get it? This here's a melting pot of all the badasses in town. That's uh, how the chromosome is. Them smug asses over at Amori may be the talk of the town now, but you'll see. Soon enough, we're going to be the biggest gang in town, following in the footsteps of the Onishima Alliance that we um, all admired. All we have to do is take down the bosses of, the, of all the other gangs in town, and in no time we're going to be ruling this whole city. The moment Yashia-san uh, deals with this Rokuto guy, that's when we're going to make our move. What a ridiculous goal, but... Seriously, but if nothing is done about it, this uh, about this gang, it's gonna spell trouble for um for us all. Well, why would you guys join this gang? Hey, I mean, I mean, Yashia-san's a pretty tough lady, but it's Yagen-san that we're all follow that we're following. You're from Harikura, and and you don't know Yagen-san used to be the boncho of Harikura. He used oh man, I'm glad we got this confirmation. He used to be Harikura's boncho. Yeah, he's a man among men, you know. He's not just strong in a fight, but he's also got all the charisma of a proper leader. Back then, it was uh, thanks to him carrying them weak asses over at Harikura that they were able to stand equally with the Mori, you know. That's how a man should be. What exactly is a man, huh? I mean, he's turning his back and attacking his old school. The people that trusted him look, looked up to him. He's turning them into his enemy. I could never do that. If I did, I would despise myself. What is a man? I don't know what that is and how you become one of them. But that is not an excuse to turn your back on your friends and betray them. I despise the kind of person uh, that would w willingly, willingly hurt others. Uh, hey, if he's planning to hurt my friends more than he already has, then I will personally beat some sense into this Yagen um, Ichiro guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Yeah, you're going to do what to me? For a girl, you talk an awful lot like a guy. Huh? Her voice even got deep for a moment there. Oh, you must be mistaken. I despise the kind of person that would willingly hurt others. So I'm not a man, is that it? Don't pay attention to her, Yagen-san. Bitch was just talking nonsense. She's right, though. Being told to be like a man is the thing I hate the most. That and being a leader. Being a boncho. What? What? Yagen hates it? Like, what the hell? Let's get to chapter 146. Uh, the start of another day. Here I am, walking into my kingdom. Yagen-san, good morning. Sup? Are we going to settle uh, things with Amori soon? Ain't time yet. But after a while, with Yagen-san on our side, we'll beat their asses for sure. Uh, maybe, sure. Yagen-san is the strongest. Uh, but after a while, coming to a school like this in this chapter is titled Yagen Unleashed only helps to make me lose confidence in myself. You're really interesting. You're our bond show. Uh, we're all counting on you, sir. A man among men. Eh, yagen -san? I need to go relieve myself. What the fuck is wrong with them? Don't just count on me. Do something your fucking self. Honestly, I don't even know if we could beat Amori or, or not. I mean, Amori is a fucking powerhouse. While Harikura, we don't got no one stronger except me but the guys are all putting their hope in me i can't pull out even if i want to oh man no one wonder yagen's doing this shit i don't know what to do i try to be the manliest bancho there is i tried yet all i can think of now is to just ditch this bullshit and run okay i'm gonna have a peace talk with the mori that's still hella manly ain't it now i just need to explain it to the guys somehow guess i ain't no man, a man among men after all what's this a love letter huh it's for it's for me oh my god um, my luck is finally turning. A girl finally liked me. Oh, man, I've always been thinking about you, and now I've decided. Be, please let me be you after death, huh? Be what, huh? Eh? Ooh, shit. Ah, that was the best. Who'd think you used to be a proud and strong bancho? Looking at your pathetic state now? Ugh. Who is, who is she? I have never met anyone as strong as her. How adorable. This must be what they called Gatmo. What is wrong with me? I'm nowhere near Amori yet. Here I am, uh, lying beaten by some na no-name girl. I don't deserve to be a boncho. Oh, are you angry? Are you sad? It's okay, you shouldn't be. All you have to do is admit that you're weak and you can be happy again. Admit I'm weak? Admit that you're nothing but a lowly insect. I'm a lowly insect. What is this feeling? My duty, the pressure, all the things that have been tying me down, they are disappearing. I feel released, even though I'm being tied up. Yakinsan, Yakinsan. Screw selling the score with Amori. Screw Harikura. Screw being a Bancho. Yashia, I'm here to see you. To you again? Every single day? Don't you have anything better to do? I love you. Please go out with me. Piss off, you damn cockroach. Why, yes, I'm a cockroach. This guy's actually pretty tough. A little touched in the head, but still. Youngin, I got something to tell you. 
Unfortunately, the Onishima Alliance is currently busy. We are in the middle of a big plan, you see. You mean the plant that planet infiltrated Mori? Be quiet, Koei. I don't see why you want to bring this guy in, Yashia. Asshole's only going to be a bother, no joke. Uh, a bother, no joke. Don't underestimate him. If we were to compare strength, then he would be much stronger than you. What you say? Calm down, Amano. Be that as it may, you still need to wait um, a while if you want to join the Onishima. In the meantime, you could gather friends or create a gang of your own. A gang? Man, it's not like I even want to join the Onishima or anything. You could do it, Yagen. Okay, what's up with him? It, Yagen is just pussy whip, let's be real. Uh, a gang. Come to think of it, I wonder if the guys back in Harikura are still well. So Onishima wants to beat Amori. Yes, in other words, the uh, Y chromosome contains the male gene. There are theories that uh, stated that if the Y chromosome in humans continue to decrease, it will eventually lead to the extinction of human uh, human males. But of course, biologically, that is, that ain't got shit to do with me no more. After all, I am no longer a man. Ooh. Ooh. So now we're in the final chapter which is um, that I'm covering in this video, which is chapter 147. But, man, this is, I would say, the second manga where we had, like, a D... Um, um, demasculation, if that makes sense. Uh, Maho Shoujo site, we have that, um, as well. Um, but, oh man. Alright, chapter 147 is titled Feelings Overflowing. Hey! That thing you said about how you're gonna beat me, uh, beat me yourself, is that for real? This is not good. If I don't do something about the chromosome, they will become a problem for all of us. Stop bothering Toko, you shit-eating pig. Okay! Toko, can I talk with you outside? Eh, okay. Yagen-san, you think Harikura's really gonna come? I mean, that girl ain't Okamori's girl, so why? That doesn't matter. She's uh, Sumaya Rhino's girl, and the Sumaya siblings are supposedly some kind of big shots at Harikura right now. If Sumaya Rhino's gonna make a move, then the rest of Harikura will follow suit. They'll have no choice but to go and um, beg Asanada uh, uh, Sigiri to face us with them. That means we'll still get to beat Okamori and Osanada just as planned, right? Still, with the, how much y Yashi is into that girl right now, she might just go and beat up Sumaya Rhino, too. Kaizano, you okay? You got through to Kaizano? Okay, we're in big trouble right now. The chromosome got Toko. What? They got Rokuto? Ah, yeah, so now we're heading to the th um, third warehouse to... Grr, grr. Oh, Rana is mad. Rana is mad. Who's there? Is there someone else with you? Don't worry, sis. Third warehouse, right? We'll head there immediately. Wait, Kaiz Kaizano. He hung up. Is Kaizano okay? He said he'll head to the warehouse, too. Toko, I think I'm done with men from now on. From now on. Eh, Why? You know, I used to love strong men, okay? Love to, uh, this is all Rokuto's Mark's fault. Love is, uh, to me, is like a carefully locked jewelry box. Only when you break it open can you find the romance inside. But every time I broke the box open, I would a also accidentally break the jewel inside. But you are different. Your box has been open from the beginning, waiting to accept all of my feelings. Yashia-san, Toko, please be my girlfriend. Wait, wh what? This is so sudden. As long as you agree to be mine, Toko, I promise I'll give up all of this. The attack on Harikura, beating men up, chasing Rokuto to Suke, I will give up everything for you. Oh my god, wait till she finds out that's Rokuto. Um, I'll become a good person. A good person? Please, Toko. That means if I continue to be Toko and accept Yashia-san's feelings, she will quit the chromosome and everything will be over? But what about after that? I mean, I could remove my disguise and escape from her whenever I want. It would mean deceiving Yashia-san, but to protect the others, I must... Toko... Is that okay? Can I do that as a man? Am I willing to push, put Yashia-san through such a terrible lie? Yashia-san, the Harikura and Amori guys are here. What? Not good. At this rate, they will fall into the trap. What do I do? What should I do in this situation? Toko needs um, only me and nobody else. What must I do? As a man, what must I do? I'll show you. I'll sh do anything to protect Harikura, as it's Boncho. I'll do anything Yashia uh, wants, so if she uh, wants me to uh, beat Harikura and Amori, I'll do it. Uh, wait for me, Rokuto. I'll be there to save you. Oh, here we go. Ooh, so next chapter, the fight is coming. This, this, this shit is getting really interesting. Like, gender is becoming a, a construct, so to speak. But, dude, this is all because of pussy being pussy whipped and thirsty. Like, this is all that all that's going on is because of that shit. But I'm really curious. Dude, Rana's gonna whoop that bitch's ass. I'm calling that shit now. Ron is going to whoop uh, Yui's ass, and it's going to be glorious. Anyway, very curious what you guys think um, about every, about what's going on. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zink if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Rokudo content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. It's in the description box below um, uh, as well. 
um, as make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.